there's the famous Oak Island legend, six people have died, then a seventh has to die. Real core of the Oak Island story is who, why, when, where, how. That's what really got me. That's, for me, I, I was more interested in the treasure. <laughs> for over two centuries, many people have embarked on the arduous journey across the Atlantic just so that they can have a chance to discover the treasure that is hidden on the mysterious Oak Island. This all started when a group of kids led by a local named Daniel McGinnis found a depression in the ground. Believing that this must be where treasure was hidden centuries before their time, these kids delved deep into the hole. Unfortunately, despite their tireless efforts, the kids gave up after digging a 20-foot pit with their hands, only to come away with bits and pieces. Going forward, many others have tried to follow in these young men's footsteps, only to see experience the same excruciating disappointment. Although they did come across other pieces of wood as they dug deeper than their ill-equipped predecessors. Now the Legina brothers and the Curse of Oak Island crew are taking on the challenge of going further than anybody ever has. In the process, they have come across a discovery that has left them quaking in their boots. Let's join the team as they get ever closer to their final excavation sites. That way we can learn of the island's terrifying secrets together. Over the years, the team has come to center its area of focus on the B4C excavation shafts in the legendary Money Pit area. The ground zero of all this kerfuffle and where the team came across some strange 15th century tunnels. Eager to find more, the team continued digging until they reached a depth of about 90 feet. This proved to be an exciting point in their venture because this is where the team found traces of gold and silver elements. Excited, the team began to believe that they must either be drawing closer to the original money pit or that they were about to find a chamber or a vault filled with these hidden treasures that many have been searching for generations. This encouraged the team to continue pushing on until they reached their desired destination, despite the fact that this project had been going on for many years. They felt that the presence of a tunnel at the 90-foot horizon meant that they must be on their way to fulfilling their mission. This must have been encouraging to the Curse of Oak Island team, having spent years showing the world as they scoured the island for the treasure that has eluded many for more than 200 years. With each and every bunch of dirt that they dug up, they'd hoped that they would finally make their breakthrough. As such, you can imagine how excited they were when they found the presence of precious metals in the water. This amplified the belief that they are on the right path as it told them that there must be good somewhere in there. Going forward, they also found wooden fragments, just like their forerunners did. Aside from that, they also came across a large piece of iron that dated back to the 18th century. As such, you cannot blame them for believing that they must be at the end of their treasure hunting journey. Unfortunately, they'd soon learn that this would not be the case when they came across an obstacle during their excavation. Upon approaching 130 feet of the B4C shaft, the team was crushed when they came across an immovable obstacle in the form of some embedded bedrock deep within the hole. As disappointing as this was, especially as this had brought an end to their work for that season, the team was encouraged to keep their heads up because they will soon have access to the modern technology, equipment, and strategy that would help them overcome this present problem. Moreover, the results of their searches up until that point, especially after they spent the last month digging five new shafts, proved that there must be treasure on Oak Island. As such, in order not to fail like those that came before them, the team embarked on a search for the technologies that would help them put an end to their present problem. As they continued their work, the team soon began to realize that there's more to Oak Island than just hunting for treasure. They soon realized that this was also a truth-seeking mission for those willing to learn more about this island that has been shrouded in mystery. As such, the team soon continued on with their work, especially as the good and silver traces found in the soil proved to them that there must be some treasure on the island. This must have been how they felt when they came across an ancient iron spike when they had reached about 100 feet into the B4C shaft. Upon analysis, Carmen Legg, a blacksmith specialist, was able to tell them that this must have been a piece of an ancient rock drill that was used to break up boulders many years ago. There was even a belief that it may have been used by Daniel McGinnis himself. 
thanks to some Swedish sharpening swages that were discovered in Lot 21 a few years back. As you can tell, this refueled the team's vigor. What else could they come across on the island? Following this, the team approached the end of the season with mixed feelings. While they had definitely made some progress along with some fascinating discoveries, they were still stuck there without the treasure they had been desperately in search of for many years. One of such discoveries is the stone-paved area in the swamp that was dated back to 1200 AD. Unfortunately, this didn't clear up the muddle that is the mystery of the treasure of Oak Island. You'd think that the 500-year-old stone at the end of the path would help matter, but unfortunately it didn't. Hopefully the rock drill would shed more light on the matter, because Carmen Legg believed that it may even date back to the 1500s, which is when many believe that the treasure may have been buried on Oak Island. Maybe a combination of these discoveries would help them make their decisive discovery. Alas, the team must be patient as they take their hiatus. However, they can't help but wonder what they may have left undiscovered on the island. Is there actually treasure on the island, or are they on a wild goose chase just like their predecessors? Only time would tell. For now, they were more focused on the history of this treasure-hunting frenzy. Many believe that it may have begun during the Golden Age of Piracy. Although many failed to get to this treasure, the Legina brothers saw this as an enthralling prospect, but especially as Rick Legina became engrossed in treasure hunting when he came across a boulder near his home when he was a kid. After dragging baby brother Marty and his friend to participate in this failed expedition, the brothers will carry on to where they are today in the middle of Oak Island, searching for perhaps the most elusive treasures of them all. Together with their team, the brothers have plowed through the soil of Oak Island for more than a decade and despite not getting what they wanted, they carried on in the hope that one day they would be the ones that would unearth this elusive treasure. Although they haven't found anything good, they found other treasures like coins with Knights Templar insignia, Spanish rings, Roman swords, and a rock drill along with the stone-paved swamp that we came across earlier on. These are signs that they are making progress despite not knowing exactly what they may find in the so-called money pit. As such, the team will be brimming with hope, especially when they analyze the evidence of treasure they've found so far. With any luck, the time and effort spent will pay off and one day, with this sort of work persistence, maybe one day, they may discover the treasure of Oak Island. That's it for this video. Feel free to explore our previous videos to get your mind blown. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified whenever we upload an intriguing content. Until next time, goodbye.